everybody, it's Miss Lucy. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, as you may be able to tell, I'm not where I usually am. Typically I film outside, but it is too chilly for that. And you know why it's chilly? That's right, because it's winter! And what do we do in winter? We play in snow! Unless you live in California, where we don't get any. Uh, it's okay, though. It's alright. Because just because we don't have snow doesn't mean we can't still make a snowman. And so that is what we are going to do today. We are going to build a snowman! And it's going to be really cute. And all you need are pipe cleaners and scissors. So without further ado, let's get started! Do you want to build a snowman? We're building a snowman today. <laughs> So to start, we are going to need pipe cleaners and scissors. And that's pretty much all we really need for this craft. So let's get started. We are going to need, of course, white, because we're making a white snowman. Okay, so we're going to fold our pipe cleaner into a circle shape. Now we want maybe about halfway of the pipe cleaner, like half the pipe cleaner, fold it into a circle. That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more than half. We're gonna fold it, and then we're gonna twist it to make a nice circle. And then from here on, we're gonna twist the other side, because this is gonna be our head. We're gonna try and round it out a little bit. We want a nice rounded body, nice rounded head. It's okay if it doesn't come out exactly right, though. As long as it's what I call snowman shape. Look at that. That's pretty good. And then from here on, I might fast forward a bit because the process is pretty simple. And I know you guys don't want to sit through me going through this the whole time. So I'm just going to explain what it is, and then we can do a fast forward of what it's done. So we're going to take a pipe cleaner, and we're going to start wrapping it around 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 until the whole head is covered so you see going over and over and you're essentially doing this with the entire body now I suggest you don't wrap it too tightly because as you can already see it I'm getting a bit of like a more ovally shape if you want your snowman to be a little more rounded don't wrap it as tightly. Now, mine wasn't able to wrap around the whole thing, and that's fine. You just grab another snowman. You can twist these two together, and then continue on from there. There we go. Continue on, maybe flatten it out so that the little sharp ends aren't sticking out. And then just continue wrapping it until the whole head is covered. And after that, just move on to the body. So seeing as we have a little extra here, I'm gonna cut that off, I'm gonna add that to my body. And we're probably just gonna fast forward through this bit. Okay, once we have our body all done, we are going to work on some arms. So we're going to take a either brown or green pipe cleaner, or honestly, whatever you have. You didn't even have to make your snowman white, you can make it any color you want. But I'm just going to cut it in half, and then from each half, we're going to make kind of like a W. So we're going to fold one part up, and then we're going to fold it over, trying to keep the same size. Over again, and then let's go about one more time. So it should look like this after. So it's like, 
And from here, your end, you're gonna tuck it over and you're gonna twist it onto this part. This is gonna be your arm, and that way we're gonna make some little hands. So we're gonna twist it on, and then you can squeeze these together to make a little more defined fingers. Sort of like that. And then we're gonna tuck it into your snowman, to your base, and you're just gonna twist it off. So push it through one side, and then just kind of twist it on the other. There we go. And of course you can make it either longer or shorter, depending on what you want. So we got one hand, and then we're gonna do the same process on the other. So twisting it, folding it, we need one more. There we go. Sorry if you guys hear the dog in the background, there's a barking dog in my neighborhood. Anyway, we're gonna twist these. As usual, um, you might not think you need this, but be very careful when using pipe cleaners because although the body of it is soft and fuzzy, the ends do have wire in it and they can poke and hurt you, so just be a little cautious. Don't grab it too, too roughly, because you can hurt yourself. And you don't want to end up getting poked. There we go. <laughs> oh, one hand's shorter than the other. That's okay. He's a little funky looking snowman. All right, and next we're gonna do, let's see. We're gonna do the nose next. So taking an orange, an orange pipe cleaner, <laughs> not an orange. <laughs> we're gonna cut off just a snippet and we're gonna fold it in half. There we go. And this is gonna get stuck through. We're actually gonna stick it in backwards. Well, you can honestly do this a few ways. You can either stick it through and then twist it off in the back or stick it through and then twist this to be um, the pointy part. I think I want to keep it kind of 3D-ish, so I'm gonna squeeze that together. Actually, I'm gonna stick it in a little, a little closer together. There we go. And then I'm gonna twist that. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> All right, and then what else am I gonna make? How about a scarf? A nice scarf for my snowman. I'm gonna take some blue and some orange. And what I'm gonna do is twist these together. We're gonna get a nice little pattern. So we're gonna twist, twist, twist. They can be either tight coils or loose coils. I prefer them a little looser just to give the pattern a little, so you're able to see the colors a little bit better. But we're just gonna twist them together. And then I'm gonna cut off that excess blue. We're actually gonna need that little piece for later. So we're gonna put that to the side. And then we're gonna wrap this around our snowman. So let's see, I'm gonna do two wraps. We're gonna go this way and then the other way. Make it look like a nice full scarf. There we go. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that, <laughs> so cute. And then we are also gonna do some nice earmuffs. We're gonna do some earmuffs for our snowman. This one can get a little tricky, but I promise you it's not as hard as it looks. It's just, it takes a little precision. So we're gonna start off with a blue one, again, whatever color you want. I'm just using blue to go for a scarf. And we're gonna start twisting tightly one end until about, uh, I'd say maybe like halfway or a third of the way. Let's see, twist, twist. This is gonna be the earmuff. Try and get nice tight coil. About here, I would say let's stop and do the other one just to make sure that we have enough space and that they're even. We're probably gonna end up making them a little bit bigger, but I just like um, doing it with time so that I'm able to measure them out a little bit better. So there we go, tight coil, tight coil. There we go, I'm gonna maybe fold this one a little more. Oh, nice. There we go. And these are gonna be our earmuffs. They're gonna go on our little snowman. Now, you can do one of two things. Either just have them placed on it so that they can be removable, or taking our excess um, pipe cleaner from the scarf, we can cut a little bit off, maybe cut this little piece in half. And we can stick it through one side and stick it through our snowman base. Let's see. Oh, let's see, it might be too tight actually. No, we can do it, we can do it. I believe in us. There we go. Let's see, stuck through through there. And then you're gonna take it the other end and you're gonna stick this through the center of the coil. And then from there, you're just gonna kind of wrap it around so that it stays in place. There we go. And then essentially do the same thing with the other side. We're 
keeping this in place. Nice and tight coil. Twisting it together. Oh no, I might have twisted it too, too high up. Oh no, I think I did. That's all right. It just looks like he has really big headphones on. <laughs> okay, so from here you are essentially done. If we wanted to, we could maybe add some legs. Snowmen don't typically have legs, but we can make an exception. We can have our, our snowman have legs. Or if you have googly eyes, let me put some googly eyes on him. Let's see, stick it through. I'm gonna fold this in half to make it look a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna fold this over maybe once or twice to make it look like he has a foot. Because if we're giving our snowman legs, he needs to have feet. You can also do this different color and make it look like he has like a pair of pants on or something. You know, like it's, it's entirely up to you. You make your snowman however you think he should be. Let's see. Oh, sticking it through can be a little tricky sometimes. Especially if we do a good job and wrap it correctly. There we go. Twist it together. And we're making our foot. There we go. Oh, <laughs> this is so silly looking. I love it. All right, since we are essentially done, one thing you could do, having a Sharpie, you could maybe color on some eyes, unless you have googly eyes, that would look very cute. I do not, so I'm just gonna use some a Sharpie, and then maybe some buttons. These don't have to be black, they can be whatever color you want. There we go. And now we have our little snowman. Isn't he so cute? Oh, I forgot to put a smile. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. It's so cute. Aw. So we are done now with our snowman. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. I hope you guys try it out because it's very cute. Look at him. And I'll see you guys next time.